Hello Aquarius, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. And it will be from the 22nd to the 28th of March 2021. Let's get straight into your reading and pull your overarching energy or message for the week. So what do we have for our lovely Aquarians? Thank you, Angels, Spirits, Guides. Message for Aquarius... 22nd to the 28th of March 2021 okay I'm using the tarot grand lux here angel answer cards radiant wise spirit cards I think that's what they're called and the classic rider wait and I'll be finishing off with Karen Kay's oracle of the fairies okay okay Aquarius we have the king of cups I'm going to pull another card with that it is a court card Let's clarify this King of Cups. I flew out. <laughs> we have the Empress. Wow. Very nice. Okay. Message for Aquarius, please. Angels, Spirits, Guides. Message for our lovely Aquarians. Thank you. Message for Aquarians, please. What does Aquarius need to hear for the week? Thank you, angels. Okay, yes. It's coming out a lot this card this week, but I'm getting a yes. Interesting. If you're not sure how someone feels about you this week, Aquarius, the message is yes. Um, do they like me? Yes. Um, not always easy to read the energies that are on the table, so it's a nice affirmation. It's a very nice affirmation. Okay. So I'm going to pull three cards. First card is the issue or challenge. Second card is advice from spirit. Third card is your future outcome. Then we clarify the cards and go deeper into the message. And it won't resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates with you. And when I say future outcome, it's near future outcome. Okay, so what do we have for Aquarius, please? Angels, spirits, guides, message for Aquarians. Thank you. Ten of swords with the sun. Okay. Three of wands is advice from spirit. And we have the eight of cups as your outcome let's clarify the cards go deeper into the message for aquarius please angels spirits guides message for our lovely aquarians thank you okay Okay, so we have the Eight of Pentacles there. Three of Wands, Aquarius, we have the Page of Wands. Four of Pentacles, we have the Eight of Cups. And the Four of Cups is your outcome. So just give me a moment. I love these cards. So male or female energy with the King of Cups, um, he can somebody who offers love. He can be somebody who offers love. Um, and the Empress is promise, such promise for new growth, creating something new. She is all about creation. She is generally represented as pregnant, um, you know, uh, it's almost kind of like, 
the soil is set, the seeds are planted, um, the temperature is right for real growth and abundance coming in and nurturing. And nurturing something um, to manifest something new, to create something new, that everything is right, so the timing is perfect. Um, and this holds such promise and that's what you're being told. Now, for some of you, they might not be easy to read this person who's offering you love. It could be somebody who has hidden feelings for you or you have hidden feelings for somebody else. And the message with the with the Empress is the time is 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 now the time it is everything is ready to manifest love it feels she's very good in terms of the birth of something new uh new love she's venus in taurus we have scorpio here you might be dealing with a scorpio not limited to that the king of cups is somebody who is possibly a bit more mature um has mastered his suit so not always easy to read either. His feelings run deep, though it's not always easy to read. He doesn't always express them. So it feels in this energy, either somebody has hidden feelings for you. Um, if you're suspecting somebody has hidden feelings for you, there's a message that the time, this is perfect. The time is perfect to create something new here. Um, but also somebody might be offering you love here. It feels, it feels either you're wanting to offer love to them or they're wanting to offer love to you. And it's male or female energy with that King of Cups, but it feels very promising. It feels so promising. That's the message, really. It feels promising, a uh, new beginning in some respects. Because you have, it has been hard work. Yeah. You know, the Eight of, of Pentacles is is generally an energy of hard, it is generally an energy of hard work, uh, working through something. And it feels like you've been working through something healing. Because we have the Ten of Swords, which can be about betrayal, loss, um, crisis, uh, deep hurts, deep wounds, uh, call it what you will but there's a message in the distance you can see the sun is rising pushing away the darkness so it is time for the new day to emerge and to release what hurt you the 10 is a completion it took a lot of energy and effort to overcome it but there is a completion now and it's time for you to release let go the sun is a card of letting go as well and stepping into your light once more. And again, there's definitely an energy of being open to receive her. That child's arms open to receive. There's also a feeling of rebirth here as well. You know, the this is about opening to receive new abundance, feeling restored, coming through a difficult time, but being restored in your own light now, being ready for good things to come into your life and feeling pretty good about it, you know? Um, not holding on to this Ten of Swords and it making you feel down anymore, but actually focusing on the right things that you need to focus on now to come through the other side of that situation and put it behind you and and absolutely step into your light be ready for new growth be ready for the promise of something new you know because it's definitely coming your way be ready for fun you know there's fun energy here happiness joy celebration the opportunity the spirit is saying the opportunity is coming uh, the the three of 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 wands it, it feels in this situation something is coming your way that holds great potential and that's what spirit is telling you it holds great potential and it's interesting that we have the wands energy which is all about growth that's all about and again it's a three which again ties in with this empress three manifesting something new it's time to take action to manifest something new there is some opportunity or someone coming your way that holds great potential and that's what you're being told 
And sometimes that page of wands is, you know, I'm just going to see what this is about. I'm just going to give it a go. You know, I'm not going to, you know, take things too seriously. I'm just going to see what happens here. It feels that kind of energy. It really does. It's lighthearted energy, the pages. Um, so I definitely feel for some of you, this is holding great potential. That's what you're being told. So... It's time to release the baggage. It's time to let go of things from the past that you've been holding on to here and put them behind you. Because they were all about disappointment or they've run their course now. Whatever this means to you, this Eight of Cups, it's run its course. It wasn't as fulfilling as you wanted it to be. Um, there could have been disappointment here Somebody could have walked away from you or you walked away from them as well. Um, but it's time to release and let that go. And that's what that energy is saying with the sun. It's time to put it behind you. It's time to move on and find that missing cup. Because you want your heart's desire. The nine of cups, the wish fulfillment, the, the thing, the offer that is going to bring greater happiness and fulfillment and contentment your way. Than what you experienced before so it is definitely an energy of don't put up barriers where you don't need to put up barriers just light-heartedly give something a go and that's what the message is because there's definitely promise of something wonderful here someone is offering you something and they're offering you this missing cup and the universe is saying you need to consider this don't dismiss it. Don't put barriers up. Don't think that you're not ready because the message here is that you're ready. You're ready to come through the other side of a situation and receive love again, receive happiness, receive joy, receive fun. So there's definitely this energy here of somebody is going to offer you something. They're offering you something which holds great potential. So give it a go. Just give it a go and see where it leads you. And that is the message here. So it feels very exciting, Aquarius. <laughs> it feels very lovely. It feels there's real promise, I have to say here. Powerful energy. So I'm going to pull a final message. Final message for Aquarius, please. Final message for Aquarius yeah magical blessings whatever you're going through you're being assisted by magical fairy blessings the fairies say you can bless others too isn't that lovely I love this reading oh I love the empress energy with that king of cups it just feels there's such promise here um give it a go and that's what you're being told I hope you enjoyed the reading if you do please do like share and subscribe I hope it's a wonderful week for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.